Welcome back to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel. Happy Haskell weekend, you guys. I'm here today to talk to you guys about my Exacta pick in the 2024 Haskell Stakes that is running this Saturday, July 20th at Monmouth Park. If you watched my video last weekend, we hit the 43 to 1 Exacta in the Diana. And if you used my Exacta picks in the late pick four at Saratoga, that was on the best bets page on the Racing Dudes website then you could have cashed for over $400. So let's try to win big again this weekend. As of right now, we have eight horses entered into the Haskell to run a mile and an eighth around the dirt track. However, um, I'm sure you guys have all heard about these rumors. More than likely, Fierceness is going to be scratching tomorrow for the Jim Dandy. Um, it's rumored that there is a van waiting for him, though, for tomorrow morning in case something happens to mind frame. He can't run, then they will enter Fierceness to run. Um, so we're going to focus on the seven horses who will more than likely run, be in the starting gate tomorrow. Now, if Rapoli pulls some kind of shenanigans, brings fierceness up there and has him run as well, it's fine. I wasn't going to play him anyways. So the number one horse we're going to talk about is Dornock, who was your Belmont winner last month. He went back to his old running style, was able to take the horses pretty much gate to wire. To be honest, I was ecstatic. He won. But I think that Mind Frame should have won that race. He just couldn't stay concentrated. He ended up almost in the grandstand and the stretch. Um, but the, hey, door knock won. We hit the exact and we cashed big. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to get the same pace um, that we did in the Belmont in this race. Door knock is going to want to go to the lead again. It just makes me a bit nervous coming out of the number one post because there are two horses in here that are called supplemental entries, the number two, and there's another one in here that they could maybe try to wear door knock down. Now, one good thing is that go rocket ride didn't win out of the number one post last year. So if door knock runs this race, because it is rumored that Danny Gargan wanted to scratch him because of his post position draw, um, I don't think it's going to happen because I just saw that Dornock is at Monmouth right now that shipped up from Saratoga. So I think Dornock is going to be running in this race. I think that he could have a really good chance to having the same performance that he did in the Belmont. Now the number two Jasper's pride, like I mentioned, it's just a very strange horse in here to me. He was cross entered for um, the fifth race today. They scratched him. Um, I know they called him a supplemental entry, but his horse has never gone more than six furlongs, going from an optional claimer to a graded one. It's very strange. I can see this horse trying to shoot out of the gate and then tiring in the stretch because he's never gone this distance. So he could have some kind of impact on the pace. I just don't think he has a chance at all to hit the board. The number three is Tuscan Sky, who is three for four in his career. He went two for two, then went to a great stakes and finished in seventh place. They brought him back to the Pegasus at Monmouth last month, where he finished six links ahead of domestic pot product. So looking at this horse, um, he's going to want the lead as well as some of these other horses. He will tuck behind the front speed. Question is, can he get this distance? Because the last time he did, he got this distance, he ran this distance, he did terrible. Also, the question is with this horse, are we going to get the three stellar performances that we've seen? Because if you drop the wood, this horse is very tough, but or are we going to get the horse that bounces when he's around good horses? Now, the number four is Timberlake. He is three for seven. His best win was probably the Rebel, but I still think that that was a weak field because he came back in the Arkansas Derby where he finished half a length behind Mystic Dan, who ended up winning the Kentucky Derby though. He's going to want to stay mid-pack. I just don't really know how good of a horse this is. It's been mind-boggling when I'm handicapping this race because he could be someone that pops up out of nowhere this weekend and his odds are going to be great because I think a lot of people are going to be looking at his Arkansas Derby performance um, and just kind of cross him out. Now, the number five is Fierceness. We're not going to waste a whole lot of time on him. He's probably not going to race. If he does enter... You guys go for it, but I'm not going to be betting him. The number six is Just Step On It, who was another supplemental entry. Probably will get great odds on this horse, but this horse's highest buyer is an 80. Never been farther than a mile, so I could see him trying to get right out of the gate again, um, trying to set the pace. I'm not picking him in my top two. Um, now, the number seven is Mind Frame. He was my pick for the Belmont. 
he should have won. He just can say focused. Um, he shied out when like five lengths to the right near the grandstand instead of just running in a straight line where he could have won easily. Uh, but before that race, he won his first two races very, very easily. This horse is the one to beat. Um, I think that he is the best one in here once again. The number eight is C Streak. Um, last time we saw him was the same race where Tuscan Sky won pretty easily. He finished in fifth place, which it wasn't impressive, but he didn't have the greatest trip. Uh, before that, he won an ungraded stakes by seven lengths, popped a 91 buyer. So he does have some speed, and he could be sneaky dangerous because it seems like he has improved each time out if you throw out that last race. Um, so with all of that said, I think it's going to come down to a pace race. I really think that Doorknock's going to run. Like I said, he's at Monmouth right now. So he's going to be getting involved in some early speed. I don't think he's going to win this race, guys. Um, if Mindframe can run back to where he did in the first two races and run a straight line, he shouldn't have any issues winning at all. So my exactas are going to be based around Mindframe. Now the question is, who do we put underneath them? Because this is hard because you have Tuscan Sky, who has had some very strong performances. You have Timberlake. Can you go back to where he was a maiden, where he was running very impressively? So my big first exacta is going to be a $10 exacta box where I'm going to go with a number four and seven. I am putting Brad Cox in there. I just think that Timberlake's going to be sneaky here. Nobody's going to expect him to win after being like 100 days off. Um, his recent works are very good, and I think he could shock the world, kind of like Dornock did in the Belmont. I am not including Tuscan Sky in my exacta picks because I feel like he hasn't proven himself. There is a lot of hype around this horse. You can argue with me that last race was great, but to me, it's like, congratulations, you beat Domestic Product in Hades by seven lengths. So in my smaller exacta ticket, I want to add in a big price. So I want to go four, seven, eight exacta because C Streak had a terrible ride. They still kind of stuck around in that Pegasus. And if we could get 30 to one, that would be huge. Um, so thanks for tuning into the Racing Dude YouTube channel. Subscribe and like this video. So let me know who you guys like below. Check out my best bets picks that are going to be on the best bets on the Racing Dudes website. I'm going to have some exactas from the Saratoga this weekend. Until next week, guys, good luck. <laughs>